Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. I want to go over something with you guys. I think it might help some people out. It can be really intimidating when looking into buying a new phone, especially if it's a big investment for you. Not everybody just looks at phones and kind of knows exactly what to buy or how much they should be spending. Some people have to be careful. They have a budget. So I was hoping that this video could help some people out in making the right decision if they're not trying to break the bank and they're still trying to get into a new 5G phone. So the best affordable, moderately priced 5G phones that are out on the market, you know, with 5G kind of hitting stride, you got T-Mobile with N41, N71, offering standalone 5G services as well. Verizon's got tons of millimeter wave in certain cities now. You know, they've got it in vacation destinations, large venues. You got pandemic restrictions getting lifted. A lot of these different situations, like with C-Band, uh, which is going to be built out over the course of the next several months. Now is a reason to maybe consider it, along if you're an AT&T customer too, you should be thinking about this as well. Anyways, there are some options that don't cost $1,000, that don't cost $800. And I want to take a look at some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down on this webpage. This is from Slash Gear, if you guys want to check it out. Uh, there's a couple of phones in particular I want to take a look at. All right, so this one here pictured is the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. Probably the best display you can get on this list. They are, you know, Samsung always does great with their OLEDs. Uh, this is probably going to come in, you know, right around the $500 mark or less, depending on what type of a sale you get or if it's used or on eBay or something. Good build quality, feels premium. You know, you're getting yourself, you know, good antenna performance, fast charging technologies. I think they've got the 25 watt charging, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So nice big battery there. There's a lot to like on that device. Another one is the Motorola One 5G. Very similar to the Samsung A52 in a lot of ways. This is a little bit cheaper, though. It's coming in at $449. Google phone-like experience in terms of the OS. You're probably not going to get the same updates, but it gives you something similar there with that OS. Uh, battery life is going to be good. 5,000 milliamp hour, lots of cameras. It is an LCD display, so it won't be as nice as the Samsung. But it does give you 15-watt charging, so there's a lot to like there. And then the next phone that I like... Uh, and I don't think it's on here. Up oh, there it is. This is the one I actually recommend the most, the Google phone. All right, so this is the Pixel 5 or the 4A 5G, depending on what type of deal you can get. Uh, you're probably getting the most affordable long-term operating system supported device on the list. Good battery life, good photography, good antennas, good radios. Uh, you're getting yourself the best Android OS, in my opinion. The 5 will get you wireless charging and reverse wireless charging and some waterproofing. The 4A 5G is missing those things, but you get pretty much everything else the same, including a headphone jack. So those are some options for you if you're not trying to break the bank. And then another example oh, could possibly be like a OnePlus Nord. Very Moto-like, more googly in a way. Uh, not quite the battery life of either of those. You probably have some decent cameras, good OS support. You get fast charging, but it might not have Band 14 for at and I'm not sure about C-Band support, but... Just be mindful that some of these models could be carrier connected when you buy them. So just get the right one or get the unlocked model so it works with your carrier. Anyways, let me know what you think of this list. Let me know if you're considering one of these phones. Those are ones I could recommend. If I had to pluck one out of any of those, it would definitely be the Google phone though. Go ahead and share this to all of your friends. Uh, go ahead and share this to your socials. This might help somebody. And uh, go ahead and rate this video and comment below what you thought of the list and what you think of the phones I picked. Anyways, have a great rest of the day. Hopefully this helps somebody. And we'll see you all on the next video. Peace.